Uh, finally, let's quick word on England getting absolutely humiliated by by the Barbars, who were down to 14 men for like three quarters of the game, who have been, as we know, as Ryan sold us, have, as we've heard from Will Skelton and, and George Cruz, on the piss non-stop. I mean, destruction, 52-21. What, what the hell? Max, it was, it was, it, it was, it was somewhat awkward, wasn't it? It got, it got weird. Like every time England had some pressure, <laughs> they turn it over, and then Barbars would just do some ridiculous freak show highlight reel try. It was, they did what they said they were going to do. It was class. They did, but they, it did feel a bit different. They were sort of more test matchy, weren't they, at the beginning? The Barbars, you could tell there was like a, there was a very competitive agenda afoot. But um, yeah, man, it, there was some. Yeah, some England boys are going to be... Uh, that must have felt a bit lonely after that game. My God. What about Eddie Jones after coming out and being like, oh, you know, it's great to see you having a bit of fun. fun. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Underneath, just like, no. Steaming have you seen, yeah. What is that? Uh, um, have you seen that Disney uh, film where they've got like the five different... Um, yes. Like, anger, sadness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, Mate, it's leaves like the red button in his head, like, okay, Brad. <laughs> He's like, oh, it's great to see everyone here, a bit of fun, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the media all like, media all sat there, like, is he, is he joking? And it, you know, look at you guys, like, come on, smile, everyone, they have a bit of fun. <laughs> Fuming inside. You've just had 50 points put on you by the bar bars, mate. They've been on the piss all week, like, probably not as much as normal. You reckon, because- I don't, yeah. We were being told in some ways that it wasn't the a Barbar's traditional tour, but still. I mean, it's still well getting in okay, at 5 a.m. This... on Tuesday, <laughs> like flying no, yeah, exactly. That's for what I'm another saying, night. Still, and... That's big. But so, yeah, but listen, hold on. <laughs> Remember this. That was Will Skelton that told us that, who then maybe felt the pressure, thought, fuck, I'm blowing. I've been on the piss all week. None of these I have. <laughs> So here's my chance to get off the field. They're not going to sub me. <laughs> oh, thank God for that. Now I'm blowing. Oh. And Cruiser on flames. What a guy. He looked like he was blowing a bit, though. There was a few points I was looking at Cruiser. He was just like, gas. But my God, he had a strong showing in the back hill. The disrespect at Twicket and the swan okay. song of George Cruz. His legacy <laughs> firmly established. Oh my God, how good is that? How good is that? He said he nearly cramped. How many nearly cramped? I was like chef's kissing. I was just like, chef's kiss. <laughs> it was fantastic. My God. Oh, boys, how good. But that just, it doesn't, doesn't it just go to show, right? That the England boys would have been training the week, knocking the pan in, like so much press, so much it, stress. Bar bars. Have a few beers, relax, enjoy yourselves. No pressure, go out and play. And realistically, if a team was going to pull away in the last 30, it's going to be the team that wasn't on the piss all week, isn't it? Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe we've solved it. Maybe we need to drink more and have a good time. And oh, I remember. Weekly sales pitch for drinking all of the time. Know, every time. This guy could be a whiskey salesman of the highest renown. Oh, wait, he is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, there is there's, there's only so much this has got to be like an exponential decline in performance after a certain amount of this like Hunter S. Thompson style of living my friend yeah uh, maybe if you played every two weeks played every two weeks that yeah that, and like then you could do that you could but boys it, it look Max obviously as an England fan you must have still been happy to see the Barbards pounded I just, I just was like, this is, this is a class game of code. I thought it was a great spectacle. I thought Carbonell was amazing. Damien Penno, unbelievable. Man, that guy's on flames, wasn't he? He was freakish. Do you see when Johnny May tried to round it? He's yeah, trying to he, run like, he's tried yeah. to like use his outrageous gas. And Penno's like, nah, we're not having it here. So it today, <laughs> son. And he's just gunned him down. He's, he's run over the other defender to get to it. That's how much he was like, yeah, it's on, son. Oh, mate, it was a, mate, there was so much to like about it. Um, I, would, it well, so I, I thought Marcus Smith did play well, though. I thought he, he, he was actually, he looked quite, um, quite exciting, quite electric. Um, Johnny Maiden looked too out of place for being out for so long, but 
yeah, the the set piece was battling dot com in, in a lot of a lot of dimensions, wasn't it? Like quick, like just just kind of frame as a fellow prop, like Will Collier, she had a great season, and then you know you gets hooked after twenty eight minutes. Uh, you know, in in a game like that, like what? I wasn't sure what happened there because I couldn't figure it out. I thought like it did look as if the England team was sort of like deflated, didn't it? Like they were struggling to keep up with the pace of the game, which I found a bit strange. Maybe the camp was real tough, especially with those games where it's not like a full on test match. I feel like there's more of a license to really fly into fly into the coaching uh, to into the into the boys from the coaches. Um, especially with so many untried, inexperienced guys who haven't been in that environment, haven't played against that ca- that like caliber of rugby against so many established like internationals in that Barbars team. So, but yeah, I, I didn't really see what Eddie saw with Will Colley. It might have been a work rate thing, but yeah, it's tough because he was straight on the bike when he came off. So I wasn't sure. I don't. I I, I don't think it was tactical, but. Um, yeah, that's tough. And then Schickling got um, ended by Will Skelton anyway, so he had to come back on onto the field of play. But, what about uh, Big Willie hitting him and like grabbing hold of him, thinking, "Oh, yeah, quickly." Yeah, and the guy just called it out, like explained it perfectly. It's like, "Nah, too late." <laughs> yeah, bang, and then, "Oh, you're okay. You're okay. Come on, <laughs> you're fine." Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I know. Now, you do feel for some of those young boys, don't you? But I reckon. Again, is Eddie Jones, is it like a big test? Has he flogged them a week and then put them out there to try and break them mentally to see if they're tough enough? You know, you hear stuff like this. So yeah. There'll be things of that going on, but... I you never see what's on the back. Or, yeah, you never see what's going on in the, in, the, in the training field, in the background. But it was a beautiful thing to watch. It really was. Yeah, you big, you big Scots. <laughs> you loved it, did you? Yeah. Oh, God. The, 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 the back heel bit, and you said it, Max, like, disrespect, lol. You know, have you ever been in a situation where there is that amount of showboating where you're like, oh, either you, they've given no, up I've or never, I'm going to beat the shit out of these lads? I've never seen anything like that before. Like, I've never seen a lock just doing three three kicks. One of them's a back heel. Nothing. nothing. I've never seen that kind of showboating before, but... In a lot of ways, it's sort of the best game to do it, isn't it? That's what the Barbars is about. It's almost like you have a license to be that character. And like, but it's all, do you, do you remember, it's it's often a thing that happens with guys that are retiring. And mm. George's George Cruz's last his last game, the Swan Song. They, I've seen it loads in French rugby. They do it where they give someone that's retiring the last kick of the game for a laugh, you know. And yeah. if if players get annoyed about that, if they grow up. I, I could you know I, mean? I yeah. like I love that's why that's you'd never see it in football, would you? You'd never see that in football nowadays in a professional football match. Like someone just being like, ah, go on then let the goalie take the take the penalty for a laugh. It just wouldn't happen. But keep <laughs> stuff like that in rugby. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Imagine if you did it though in just a, a standard a standard yeah, rugby that's... game. Yeah. Bristol versus Gloucester, and I'm they're just... like, You're winning by 50 points. They're like, Max, go on, go and oh, take crack. the kick, just to rub it in. We should do more of that. Why not? Really piss each other off. I did. If you have you ever seen the Carlos Spencer do it uh, when he does? It's again. It's when he's playing for the Blues and it's in there. Who are their Who are their biggest rivals? The high, uh, Crusaders. Crusaders, right? And he runs. He literally like runs the length of the field and then gets over the try line and runs to the corner. The corner with Joe Rocco. Puts it down with Joe Rocco to basically be like, uh, steps up, takes t- and takes and just slots the two. Yeah. And it's so fucking bald. How like, good. And then, and then yeah, after that, I love that. on everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah that, fuel, that, fuel, fuel. Uh, but no, I think, yeah, it's what you were saying about that, though, is right. With George Cruz's situation, like established long-term England, like international last game, it's a bar bars game. I think it's just it's the right right place, right time to be that cat. Absolutely. But watching him was so funny. Do you see when um uh Danny Kerr made that break and he's just scrammed him? And it's oh no, no, it's Marcus Smith, I think. He's just scrammed him on the break. And then it's and then it turned into that Carbonell kick. I was like, and then that was Cruz as well, forcing that turnover. I was like, he was having a hell of a game for a bloke who must have been so dusty. <laughs> oh, so dusty, so dusty. Oh, 
Oh, and then Noel's, do you see Jack Noel bouncing? <laughs> Big Noly at the centers ran him up, like ran straight at him. Just folded him up like a t-shirt, felt for him, felt for him. But um, yeah, and Noel looked, Jack, Jack looked good other than that knock on. I thought he looked, he, looked, he had some actual impetus. He, 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 he brought something off the bench. At centre as well. I've never seen him play centre before. No, I haven't uh, either. Was... Yeah. Um, but yeah. Who's, for that amazing try, who was the like the replacement like flanker who just gassed so Mate. hard? He's no what joke. Is... The, the, the Stade Francais number eight. Yeah. <laughs> Mate. Freak show athlete. Moves like greased okay, wind. Matthew. again. McAloo, yeah, yeah, yeah. McAloo, mate. Oh, mate, oh he's unbelievable. Great, yeah. 